Are you getting your first skateboard? Yeah, these yeah. globe yeah. yeah, nice. Oh. Jeffrey. So, this guy, what, he got big time with the book? He got big time on him, you know what I mean? What about us little guys? Don't forget where you come from, bro. You know what I mean? Forget about it. Time is fake at this point. The last few years is all one fucking day. Not even a year. All one snap of the fingers. This is my first pro board that they like copied this. I bought this off eBay, but it's like the one I first started skating on. It's pretty cool actually. I wanted to live in my hometown. I wanted to turn pro in my hometown before moving out, you know, across country or whatever, because at this time, I felt like it was almost like a rule, like, nah, you gotta move to LA to like make it big or whatever, that because that's where skateboarding was. But I had this like, whatever it was, this like self thing to where I was like, stay here and not show that you could turn pro from kind of anywhere, but it was like this goal I had for myself. I liked Florida, I liked the videos we were filming, and I liked, I just liked being home. July will be 10 years from the premiere. I remember looking back on my Instagram, like way back to yeah, yeah. when I posted like, come fucking see the video, whatever. I don't have any dope drinks, but I have water if people want stuff like that. Couldn't film a damn trick for like a couple months and then now I'm on, a, on like a kind of like a good streak, I guess. Or like getting something almost every time we go out. But it like, it just recently, like one day just started raining and got really hot, like out of nowhere. Like summer like hit real hard. We like start our days at like four, five. It feels trippy cause like I don't know, I have all my little habits and rituals and whatever, and then I just don't know what the fuck to do till then. And then come 4.30, I'm like, dude, my day's done, but like, we'll, I'll go meet up with them and uh, it like usually works. My lease was about to be up, and I had already been in New York for three years. I don't know, COVID, you know, changed everywhere, changed everything. I kind of had this feeling of like, hey, should we maybe we try somewhere else that we could like maybe get a house or just have more space? I almost felt like stuck or super confined, and I just wanted to go somewhere familiar and a place that I felt had potential. And I feel it now since I've lived here, like out filming and out looking for spots. There's not like a rush to it. I don't feel like a bunch of like weight on my shoulders of like, oh, a bunch of dudes are gonna come find this spot. Do I have to keep this thing a secret? Oh, and by the way, I just got out of federal prison, too. That was awesome.
think. There was definitely like a good time of like skateboarding wise, Miami was dead. Like, there was not filmers, photographers, there was not even really a scene. You know, the older guys were just kind of done at that point. But then lately, there's just this whole new skate scene here. You can see it. I've never seen so many skaters in Miami in my life. They really didn't have, you know, that one place to go. And so then once Lot 11 opened a few years ago, I wasn't here, but I watched from afar and I just watched the skate scene explode. If I had that when I was growing up, it's super possible that I would have never left. You know how it is when you look in the mirror, you don't think about it. When you look in the mirror and you go, oh, sure, there's that guy, you know, and, and you catch yourself. When you catch yourself in that mirror, you see the state you're in. Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you confident? Are you rosy? Are you beleaguered? Are you, are you here? <laughs>